Welcome back into Sports Sunday. Things have started to buzz around here with some Sac State Hornets in the building. Joining us at the desk, first year head coach Andy Thompson. And he made sure that we made sure we were going to mention this. All conference players as well. Running back Marcus Felcher, Fulcher and quarterback Caleb Nelson. Guys, thanks for coming on with us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah. We're going to start off with you, of course. Um, you've been with the program, in the program for a few years, but this is your first year as head coach making that switch. And I think everybody's just curious, and I am, just how different that's been for you. Now being the head coach, not the defensive coordinator, probably a lot more pressure. A lot more things to do. Yeah. My days are full. Um, time management has been, uh, you know, really a huge thing I've tried to work on um, because we got a lot of guys uh, that you have to serve as the head coach more than just the defense quarter. But man, has it been fun. We have a great group of coaches and players and so many that are returning that I already had previous relationships with. And so it's been it's been great to uh, be in that leadership role and taking it kind of every day. It's something new as a head coach because, you know, I haven't done it before. So learning a lot as we go. But you're a coach's son, so this is like this is like nothing for you. I'm, I'm fortunate. Yeah, my grandfather was a head coach for 42 years and my dad was a head coach. And so I definitely don't know August without going to football yeah. practices. So it's, it's been great to get back out on the, the field and, and really enjoying it. What's the craziest thing you have had, have had to do since taking over that you're just like, I didn't know this is a responsibility of mine? Um, I went to the Fair Oaks Rotary Club and spoke to them and I did not know where the Fair Oaks Rotary Club was and, and man they were great people and if they're listening hey nice to see you guys again but I uh, hadn't been to the Rotary Club just doing a lot more speaking engagements uh, really enjoying that promoting Sac State's promoting the football program and uh, we have a lot of great stories because we have a lot of great players and so trying to get those guys in the spotlight as much as we can and hopefully the city of Sacramento is excited for this football season they want to come out and and uh, watch these guys play. We're excited to see you guys play. I think the, one of the biggest question marks heading into the season for you guys, though, is who's starting under center. I know yes. that's like the number one question everyone's asking. What can you tell us about what, what's going on with that competition? Uh, I think they're all three doing a great job. We've got three really good candidates that um, we had a scrimmage last night and they performed really well. And uh, the whole offense makes it easy on them because we've got a lot of good players on that side of the ball. They would tell you that. But I think their leadership has been key. Um, they ran all the player run practices. They were out there every day. You know, they're in the film room constantly trying to improve their game. So excited about, again, Caden Bennett, Carson Camp, and, Car and uh, Carson Conklin. So they've all done a great job. Do you guys like the competition as well as players? I love it. Going against them every day, we get to compete, see how they play. So, I mean, what I see, I like. I'm excited to see what's going to happen this season. Marcus, I know what you like, and that's your offensive line. But <laughs> yeah, big, like, big, yeah. year, big year for you coming up. Obviously, Cam Scadaboo, he transferred. Now you're the number one guy. How have you embraced that, and what should we expect out of you this coming season? Uh, first off, Cam's my guy, and uh, I just i um, been here for a while now, so I know what to expect. So. Uh, I don't have any problem taking a load, so I think everything should be good. Uh, we're practicing well, we're performing well, we're getting coached well, so everything should be great.